Right, this is Optimus Prime, my Tesla Model X. I've owned it for well, actually three years now. Yes, and I'm about to sell it, but eh, all these issues keep coming. And, and also all issues that uh, I'm trying to fix uh, take some time. So uh, today I will talk about uh, the issue with the Falcon Wing doors. I've been having it since 2016. And the problem is that when you open it, uh, that that one works okay, but it's when you close it that about 50% of the time it will detect some phantom uh, obstacle and then stop. Yeah, like now, you see? So it stops there and I've been at the service center for at least, let's say, five to ten times with this. And every time they look at it, they do some calibration and they can't replicate the error. Every, every time. So supposedly the experts, they look at this and they couldn't find any problem. But my friend Pavel, uh, he found it right away. <laughs> so let me show you what happens. Um, he noticed that this part here, I mean, he noticed that the door was too much to the what, backward, back to the back here. And you can see here, it's been chewing on this part yeah, so the rubber here has been damaged and also it seems like it's been rubbing on that part. So you can see, let me see, we have to take the door down somehow, but then try to stop it. I'm not sure if it's possible to do that. Oh, oh stop there, stop there, stop there. Okay, that was not good. Uh, I tried to stop it and then this shit happens. Let me open it again. That one fell off so easy. Huh? It's supposed to be like this, so fragile. Uh, let me just pop it back in there again. What the heck? Okay, uh, let me see. What? Gee, oh, okay, 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 I have to figure out. All right, I mended it. <laughs> no, it's just some plastic clips that uh, easily goes off and then on, back on again. Yeah, so nothing, nothing damaged here. Yes, yes. Stop screaming in the comment section, please. Anyway, uh, I found a better way to stop it. Uh, by the way, that one also looks a little bit misaligned, don't you think? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, why does it have this bend? But okay, look here on this edge here. You see that? It's been chewing on the paint probably for a long time. So I, I've, I don't have a family, but I've been running. Uh, I've been running this nimber task where I open and close this door a lot. So it gets that, that stress over time. But let me show you, when I close the door, okay, you can see that it seems to be very much to the back here. Ooh, but then it's magically, just goes into place but then sometimes maybe if i'm on a slope or something then it seems to have too much weight towards the back and then it rubs against this part and then and 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 so i found another way to to force it to stop all you have to do is just stop it there you see then it stops yeah so if you want to inspect it better so Apparently this is a, a warranty case. I had it for a long time. I've been bugging them uh, for almost three years. So I have to go back to Tesla uh, to try to get this fixed before I sell it. Whoa, look at that. Look at that, how it bends. But maybe it's supposed to be okay if it bends like that. Okay. So of course now when I try to demonstrate, then it seems to work most of the time. Yeah. Yeah, okay, whatever. But now let me show you uh, some other bugs. Um, for example, once I, once I start driving, there will be this one here. Uh, this one started appearing, um, well, actually a couple of months ago. I haven't used the car much. And I tried to replace the, the sensors. All the sensors in every car, I mean, in every wheel has been replaced. And it still bugs uh, because eventually the sensors, they run out the battery and you have to replace them. And this car has done a lot. So the sensor has never been replaced before. But even with new sensors, I still get that issue. So I had to figure out how to do it because uh, in the Model S and in the Model 3, somewhere in the service menu here, you could reset the sensors and then it works. 
but here there is no reset I, I look everywhere trust me I look everywhere and there is no place you can reset the sensors so I have to go to Tesla and get it fixed and then there's one more thing okay because uh, you know I managed to do it before which is a scheduled service from the app here it's a pretty awesome feature uh, but I will show you what happens now okay so now all right select service so let's say if we want to do uh, this one other next just say test it doesn't matter uh, test here okay um, and then well okay I have to go back and then next like this that's a bit clumsy but here enter address okay so if I enter Oslo uh, nothing it's just what the what the heck uh, okay let me see so if I do, uh, if I let's say if I go Kari uh, you see, uh, oh, I misspell it. Shit, Kari, it it doesn't appear here. Kari Hogvayan hundred. Let's say I just happen to live there. No, no habla. An Oslo, what's uh, No match. You see, you can't press next, uh, and then if I do the Oslo, it says Oslo circle, and uh, if you choose it, it goes to, where is this, Macau, what the heck? Uh, Hong Kong cost, what? What? Okay, well, the good thing is that you see here, the next earliest time, Monday, August 5, okay, and then August 12, so that's not too long, yeah. A couple of weeks but how the heck do I get Oslo so I can't I can't search for Oslo or whatever uh, what about Trondheim Bergen then Bergen oh, oh, shit I'm so bad to type Bergen no no Bergen no so so this I don't know but I also have the latest uh, Tesla software so trust me let me show you here Tesla okay Tesla app you see it's the latest version but it still doesn't work so I have to go to the service center uh, let me see uh, call Kari Hugwin Hunder yeah I have to go to that one and ask them to get an appointment or whatever here hmm. she Okay, and here you see more of that uh, tire pressure problem so uh, none of the tires are reporting anything and I've been driving for a lot uh, I also tried that of course I've driven many hundred kilometers without uh, the tire pressure sensors resetting or learning uh, picking up the new sensor or whatever because yes that happened with MC Hammer that it took a while for it to to learn the new sensors but you see here uh, it will not report anything and it just lights up like that so I don't know what the heck is wrong we have to figure it out yeah all right here we go uh, big mux yes we're going to big mux oh, is this the right place let me check oh uh, yeah so we just have to go f straight here uh, and then we come to Tesla uh, so this is the part where I think I'm I they could be strict about uh, uh, filming, so I will just shut off the camera now. All right, we're back home. Uh, I booked an appointment at uh, Tesla, well, at uh, Kali Hogan. They call it K100, which is Kali Hogan 100. Uh, so that's the code name for that one. Uh, so uh, the appointment is, uh, well, today is the four, uh, 24th of July, and the appointment is the 14th of August. So that's three more weeks not too bad i mean okay uh, there's been times when we had to wait three months or six months for appointments so three weeks is actually an improvement and also when i used to have those other cars the fossil cars like the renault i used to go to belia and then with the bmw i had uh, where, where did i go then mm. but i also remember that uh, a couple of weeks of wait time for appointment is usually what i get also with the other uh, car brands 
So um, as for the app, uh, the guys at the service center, they said, well, did you try to uninstall it and install it again? Okay, let me try that one. Let me uninstall it, try to delete all the user info and try again. Um, or it could be that that app uses Google or something else to look up on the address. I don't know, but I will give it a shot, see if it hap uh, makes any difference. But yeah, so... That will be the case here at least now there will be a follow-up video once the falcon wing doors are repaired uh, whether they will just do the adjustment or actually i think they should also change the rubber seal because the rubber seal and they should also do some body work to correct some of that uh, damage that has been done you know because they could just they could of course just correct it adjust the the door so it, it won't uh, bug anymore but then the damage has already been done and i'm going to sell the car and the buyer he might ask for a discount because it looks ugly there you know so uh, since it's a warranty case then i think they should fix this uh, properly yeah so we'll see then what happens yes so i think that's it for now i hope you guys enjoy this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later